think I was 14 years old and my dad had to sign me in. And for the entire time I was in the Navy, there wasn't hardly a day that went by that someone didn't ask me, how old are you? And it was always the same, young. To say that I was the only person in the Navy that was 15 or 16 years old would, would, would be a lie because I don't know. I know that, that there wasn't hardly a day that went by that some officer didn't ask me how old I was. And it was always the same, I'm 15, sir, or I'm 16. How did you get in here? I was living at my age in a period where we were being drafted to go into the military because they needed people. They had a draft board. You could see it, I could find my name. My dad says, why do you want to go in? I said, see my name there, dad? Yes, they're after me. If they draft me, I'm going to be crawling around in the dirt somewhere, hauling a gun, and I don't want to do that. So I think what I want to do is go in the Navy, like my Uncle Charles did. And there I can pick and choose what I want to do. We were in peacetime. Peacetime only lasts as long as peace wants to be peace. And I was smart enough to know that what was peacetime then wouldn't be peacetime forever. And that my uncle was in the war. And I didn't want to be in the war and I joined during peacetime. And um, I told my mom that everything would be okay. But it was something that I had to do, whether I liked it or not. If I didn't do it, they would take me. Right away, they asked me, what do you want to do in the Navy? And I said, sir, whatever I can do that will get me higher rank fast. Well, Glenn Harris, you need to go into the air part of the Navy. And you can start with school and you learn things and you can grow fast and that's what I did. So I went into the Air Navy and was attached to a, a squadron of uh, airplanes and the airplane happened to be the fastest plane in the world, 1500 miles an hour. The FAU Crusader was a jet airplane and it was designed specifically for war. And it was the greatest war plane that was ever made. It took a, a huge amount of enemy aircraft out of the air. The plane was guided by electronics. I was an electronics technician. And um, I was usually the last, per the last person a pilot would see before he left the aircraft carrier. And I happened to be that person many, many, many times. And when, when they got up in that airplane on that carrier, and when they looked at me and went like this, that means you told us it's okay to fly. That's a hell of a deal when you're young. How old are you? 16. I uh, asked a pilot one day, what do you think when I crawl up to the plane and ask you if everything's okay? And you say yes. And I tell the person down below, let this plane go. And he says, you're the last person we see. And that's my life. Don't know what else to say. Would I do it again? You bet. The Navy has made me what I am. And I'm not afraid of nothing. The Navy's been good to me. I've stayed in it and I'll die in it. The only advice I would give to anyone, and that could be young or old, if you have a dream, do it.
If you don't have a dream, get one. Because if you don't, you'll be stagnant. Don't be stagnant in the world. Period.